Howdy folks, in the squeaky chair, I uh, thought I'd read, we watched a video tonight with my daughters, uh, we watched a video of Tina Turner singing on the Tonight Show back when Johnny Carson was still there, and uh, it was revelatory for the young, for the youngins to see her performance. So I thought I'd read from Jesus Cow again tonight, because there's a mention of Tina Turner in here. So the prologue of the Jesus cow is as follows. On Christmas Eve itself, the bachelor Harley Jackson stepped into his barn and beheld there illuminated in the straw a smallish newborn bull calf upon whose flank was born the very image of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, said Harley, that's trouble. So, later in the book, after finding this calf, Harley decides he better call his friend Billy. Billy Tripp opened Harley's barn door and fully filled the frame. Well over six feet tall and burly with the stature of those men who carry a 70-pound overage like seven, he arrived clad in grim sweatpants and a capacious parka. I love the word capacious. Why let the fancy people have all the fancy words? I said it before, I'll say it again. He arrived clad in grim sweatpants in a capacious parka. And notwithstanding the Christmas Eve snow stood shod in orange rubber clogs. He wore a beard the size of an otter. Billy was a decorated combat veteran whose wartime injuries had at one point put him flat on his back for the better part of a year. He and Harley were well along in their friendship before Billy shared the whole story. Anybody who says they're above it all has never been beneath it all, said Billy by way of conclusion, and then never spoke of it again. He lived surrounded by stacks of books and an innumerable census of cats in a single wide trailer on a sliver of property purchased from Harley's father during the years Harley was away at college in the city of Clearwater, an hour south of Swivel. Upon his return home, Harley resented the presence of the trailer at the far end of the pasture and by default its occupant. But one afternoon, as he struggled to repair the frozen apron chain of his father's manure spreader, the sky darkened and it was Billy, blocking the sun. As the worm gear turns, eh? said Billy. The combination of literate humor and obscure manure handling technology knowledge appealed to Harley and a low-key conversation ensued. Now Harley considered Billy his best friend, although Harley never cared for the term, implying as it did that life was a pageant. Like Harley, Billy was also a bachelor. The two of them liked to get together and not talk much. After a childhood of daily dairy chores, Harley had sworn he would never again milk a cow, but he retained a farm kid's atavistic affection for fresh-skimmed cream over cornflakes. When he broached the possibility with Billy, who subsisted on a military pension and disability drawn on his injuries, Billy saw the milk as a means to defray his prohibitive monthly cat food expenses and thus offered to split the milk and chores. With this agreement in hand, Harley obtained a bread milk cow from one of the few remaining dairy farmers in the county. Billy was present the day the cow was led off the back of the cattle trailer. Tina Turner, said Billy. Huh? said Harley. Tina Turner. We'll call her Tina Turner. Harley had tried in vain to make any connection, some resemblance of hairstyle or mannerism, a certain strength to the gait. But I don't... Not the point, said Billy, seeing Harley there puzzling. But why... Respect must be paid, said Billy, his definitive tone making it clear. He considered the answer self-evident and the discussion closed. Indeed, it was not uncommon in these parts to choose animal names for honorific purposes. Harley himself had once named a Holstein heifer calf after a high school girlfriend. Sadly, the relationship ended before the calf was weaned. Might have taken that one from my own personal background. Now, as the two men watched, Tina Turner licked her calf from stem to stern, clearing the last of the amniotic fluid. 
At the moment, Billy was unab unable to see the image of Jesus, his view being blocked broadside by Tina. Then the cow laid on an especially aggressive lick, and the calf stumbled into the open. The hair across its ribcage was slicked and whorled, but even thus distorted, there was no mistaking the image made manifest. You got the son of God there, bud, said Billy, with a cow lick. This was a stylized Jesus, rendered in black and white splotches like clip art from the cover of a 1970s family planning brochure, but immediately recognizable as the standard doe-eyed Lutheran hippie iteration. Harley looked up at his friend. What do you think? Get a lawyer, said Billy, and start printing t-shirts. And off they went into the adventure that is the Jesus cow. Hey folks, hope you're doing all right. We're getting a gentle rain on the roof here tonight. Actually, it can stop any time, having uh, just looked down in the basement where we're getting an in-ground pool. All right. Hope you're well. Take care of each other. Be good to each other. Forward.